Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. It is Tilt, and we are playing Thor. The reason we're playing Thor is because I think Thor is really fun. Um, I just really wanted to play him. Like, I don't really have... I don't really have, like, more of a reasoning behind why am I picking Thor. He just... see, He's fun. He's just fun. You know? And I want, dude, his two. Oh my God. If you're watching on YouTube, please pause, go back. His two, like he has two uh, mastery points on Cupid and it was off center. It, I'm actually mad. I like, I don't know if I'll ever recover mentally from that. Actually, I think he, I think he beat me already. I think I've lost the game. Due to uh, mental damnation. I'm going to go frostbound. Uh, should I go? I'm going to go frostbound. I'm going to go frostbound. I could go not frostbound, but I really think like frostbound is just so good. And the attack speed reduction it gives you too. It's just so good. Anyways, we're tilting today. We're tilting. Hopefully this is a uh, a two hour long video and Thor goes the distance. I would like him to. I don't know if he would, but I would like him to. Oh, I'm stinky. Oh, I'm stinky. Hold on. Wait a second. 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 Oh, he wasn't even close to finishing that red. Wow. All right. I took a little damage there. Probably unnecessarily. Can he even do this? Because I can like, I can do bow, bow, and then I can like, yeah, he can't really mess with me. How did he die? How? And a melee minion punched him in the head. A melee minion punched him in the head while he was running away and killed him. <laughs> it wasn't even an archer, bro. It was a melee minion. Hold on, check this out. Oh, never mind. I tried to hit him with it, but it's done. Okay, I'm gonna back because I have literally no mana. Don't invade me. Thank you. Let's go get frostbound let's get a health chalice and i'm actually gonna go double mana pot here because my mana is a little bit of an issue it's not the biggest issue it's just a little bit of an issue i just realized he could have aegis but i guess you, you know, like there's nothing that feels worse than aegising archer damage you know there's no way sir sir captain me lord there's no way I, I fully believe you might be deceased. And got him. And you're dead. Perfect. Perfect, dude. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. I think, you know, I think there's some mental game to smite. That's like, it's not even what god is good or what god is bad it's just what god you feel like playing because if you feel like playing a god like nine out of ten times just because you feel like playing that god you perform better with that god at least i do i don't know if like it's a i don't know if that's like a agreed on thing holy Rep. But for me personally, when I feel like playing a god, I perform like 16 times better on that god. Got a lot of tower damage on him. Hello. I don't think I need to be scared of you. Like, ever. Like, realistically, ever. Hold on, check this out, check this out, check this out. Hold on. Pop thorns. Done. Go. Oh my god, I'm so cool. 
I'm so cool. I can't believe I did that. Holy crap. I'm so cool, dude. Okay. You win this fight. Okay. I think he would have, by the way. Only an absolute moron would alt in here. Hello. I am moron. Right, now we get the red buff. Dude, I have four kills and a tower down in four minutes. What in the world? All right, let's go Jotuns. Honestly, I'm going to go lifesteal Jotuns. Get some cooldown going. And Jotuns is a little bit of mana too. I need the mana. I could go Breastplate here. Should I? I kind of want Hydras. And if I go Breastplate, then I, I won't get Hydras. Your 2 still increases when you level it, right? Yeah, the stun duration from 1.2 all the way up to 1.6. If I, if I had increased stun duration... Oh, Aegis. Okay. If I had a little bit longer increased stun duration, some of these fights would just be straight up kills, I think. I actually did his blue. What the heck? I guess if I, I could grab the rock and then just full commit to Bull Demon. Because if he comes over to Bull Demon, I can just alt him. I do want to clear this wave first, though. He just dashed. He thought I was at Bull Demon. And then he backed. All right, perfect timing. Perfect timing for me. Go ahead, go in here. Use all the abilities. I'm gonna pop Porn Shard too. Just so I can clear this a little bit faster. And then I don't think that I need to be scared of him at all, actually. Alright. <laughs> He's got defense and I just full comboed him. I got five kills, tower down, bull demon down, and the win in six minutes and 20 seconds. Holy crap. What a game one. I'll see you in game two. What up, video game players? It is game number two. I think that Hera is one of Thor's hardest matchups. So it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate that we're fighting a Hera, but I have a season one Masters icon and he's got a season not one master's icon so i think we got this i think we got this uh I like beads is going to be more important just because he's going to be running at me and it, well he's not going to be running i'm going to be running at him and he's going to be trying to peel me off of him with his two and his alt although i will say something that's like a positive for me is that my three is knockup immune. So when he uses Argus, I can just press three. I wonder, is it? Is it good? Uh, What is that item? Erosion. Reduce enemy shields by 30%. Maybe erosion is good in this situation. Against Hera. But it's a, it's a physical defense item. Isn't it? Oh no, it's a it's a it's a multi defense item. Minions. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe we'll try it. Can you explain why Hera is such a bad matchup for Thor? Yeah, I can. Um, so obviously the 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 two is a big issue. What are you doing? The two is a big issue for Thor because um he can cast it if he if he has good timing on his casting of the two, he can completely stop my three, which I shouldn't have to tell you is bad news for me. Um, 
And most Thor players actually do max their three instead of their one. I maxed the one because I'm confident in the ability to hit the, the one, but um, most Thor players don't do that. All right, so I have to go for the kill there because he goes for the wave and he 100% out clears me. It's not even close. He 100% out clears me. So I got to go for him while he goes for the wave because I'm never going to get pressure on him by just focusing the wave. My pressure is going to be like fighting pressure. But yeah, anyways, besides the fact that he can stop my three, he also has the shield that is like a four or five second cooldown when he has max cooldown. And uh, as an assassin, whose main goal is to burst things, uh, if you can't burst, you're kind of nothing. Like, you kind of don't exist. Okay, you're going to run away. I'm going to not give a shit. Are you actually committing to that blue? I'm not going to let you have it. Okay, he got five, which is the reason I backed. When he when he ran to the wall, I knew that he knew that he could get level five there. Uh, and when he gets level five there, I die. Okay, go. Most of his stuff. Look for that shield to run out and then burst. Perfect. Perfect, dude. That that uh wall was literally perfect it completely made him not move between the fact that like i had just gotten my frostbound but like this wall here i was body blocking him he's just right there he just could not move he was getting owned and there's nothing you could do about it perfect dude let's go perfect Right, so he's got Kronos, but his next item is going to be Breastplate. Your is under um, I would argue that I don't even need to go Genji's here. Because I can kind of just, like, double dip into damage. Because of the fact that he's going into Breastplate next item, he wants, you know, max cooldown as fast as he can. You don't start Kronos Pendant. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't start Kronos Pendant unless you want to rush max cooldown. And um, rushing max cooldown is very susceptible to somebody rushing damage. Also, I'm not scared of you. Those are my XP camps. You better back the fuck off, buddy. All right. Perfect beads for me. It's actually a really good beads for me. Because I actually don't think I had kill opportunity there. I think I scared him into thinking that... I scared him into thinking that I could kill him. Just because of my aggressiveness. But there's no way in hell I could have killed him there. I, I don't mind this. I think he's trying to scare me into using a relic. But uh, genuinely, I'm not, I'm not scared of him. Not yet, at least. Eventually, for sure. Is your blue up? Oh, your blue is up. I will take this. Thank you. Just keep those potions ticking. Just keep them ticking. Alright, my one is now maxed out. That's going to do a lot of damage. Even with him having defense, it's going to do a lot of damage. But I max health, max cooldown. I'm not scared. This is another literal perfect fight for me. So good. So that's why I bought beads. Obviously, I, I got a really good wall off again. And I got a really good combo off. He didn't have beads up, which guarantees the fact that I'm going to be able to combo him fully. And um, with that wall and then walking up to him aggressively, I'm able to just keep him in that corner. The only thing that could have went wrong is if he polymorphed me. But because of the fact that I have beads and I, you know... Hold it for that exact scenario. I'm able to fight him. I also think that he wants to invade this, and I would think it would be a terrible misplay by him.
I'm gonna wait out my cooldowns here. Oh, damn. All right. All right. You know, I actually wonder maybe... Maybe it would have been better not to wait out my cooldowns. Maybe it would have been better just to insta land because his cooldowns... His cooldowns could have been... Uh, or they then that could have been. They were on cooldown as well. And I think I probably win the auto attack battle. Just by the fact that I'm a physical god. Yeah, I think I misplayed that. I think waiting for cooldowns was actually trolled by me. Oh, damn it. Oh, never mind. Fog. Let's get this. Max cooldown going into Warlock Staff? Surely that's not a Warlock Staff. I mean, it's not an Ethereal. It could be a gem, I guess. Gem wouldn't be terrible. Slow. Oh, he popped all of the buttons. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't mind all this. This is another waste of damage on his part. He's never going to kill me there. And I already got the rock. You know, I was already there what I came for. I got the wave. I got the rock. Not scared. Oh, he does want to go to his blue buff here. I think the best thing I could do is probably alt it. He didn't go to his, to his blue. Does he see me in the air? Oh, I went to the wrong side. Unfortunate. He did get his beads, though. Okay. I am not able to move. I'm just going to kill this. I stink. Is there blue up? What is up? Cool. Oh, he's just going for the wave. Oh, it is a gem of ISO. He is going gem. Interesting. Um, I kind of want to go Jotun's next item. Just max cooldown. I think I will. Second Relic, I don't know what I want yet, but I'm thinking Horrific cannot be bad. I'm thinking Horrific cannot be bad. It's percentage damage mitigation. I do still think I want Erosion, by the way. But it depends on, like, if I can afford that luxury item. I really cannot let him get red. Good damage. Oh god. He had one drop. Ouch. Can I stun you? Nope. Nope, I cannot. Bummer, bummer. Hmm. It's gonna be a hard game. He just has so much presence, you know? The gem of ISO does hurt. I'm a little bit ahead, but I'm not I'm not far enough ahead, I don't think. He 
just walking at me menacingly. He knows I cannot F with him. What in the world? Okay, this, this would not be the correct play. I don't know what that play is. I got no idea what that play is. He's trying to poke me out. I guess. Alright, let's get rock. I think he knows he's a little vulnerable. That's why he's just sitting under tower. Uh, should I go beat stick? Maybe. Okay, that is isn't. Okay. Interesting. There's a little bit of damage. I'm going to ult. Oh, I fucking whiffed it, dude. That's tragic. That is tragic. Oh, but actually, hold on. It might not be that tragic. Oh, okay, now it's tragic. Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Does he have alt up, you think? He might. Okay, he might die here, though. There's his beads down. He's gonna juke backwards here. He didn't. He's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we got his beads. We got his horn shard. We got his alt. We'll get the kill. Or we got the kill. Um. Getting red buff is really good here. I'm curious on if I should go beat stick or not. Don't know if I can afford a beat stick. He's going more lifesteal. I think I kind of need beat stick. I could even just... I could sell my Genjis for Pestilence. I'd imagine he wants to just do Bull Demon, right? Bull Demon seems very safe for him. Okay. Go Heartseeker. And then I guess I'll go Beats to Glass, just because he's going double. He's going double life steal. And it's not like beat stick is a little amount of damage. It's 45 power and 15 base pen. That's a lot. Oh, that was that was good damage, to be honest. Perfect. Perfect. So I knew that I could fight him there because I knew that his I knew that his beads were on cooldown. So I knew his beads were on cooldown and I knew that his shield was on cooldown. So if there was ever a time to all in, it was it was right there. I didn't really have time to make uh a full on game plan. It was basically Okay. He's got no beads. I've got some damage. Let's figure it out. You know what I mean? 
That's exactly what the game plan was in my head. Thankfully, it worked out, but could have been bad. How much is beat six? Seventeen fifty. I can't afford it. I'm gonna go with five hundred pot here, though, because I have all my stuff up. Uh, he does have beads up, by the way. I think he's probably just gonna beads this. Is my guess. Yep. Literally exactly what I wanted, by the way. Oh god. Maybe not. Maybe not that much of a slow, but getting his beads is exactly what I wanted. Good damage. Might be able to do something here, but I don't know. Look at that. Look at how scared he has to be. A few turns I can kill. Just gotta be careful here. Alright, is red buff up? Oh, nice. Okay, so, uh, Bull Demon, by the way, I know it seems like I didn't utilize my Bull Demon at all. Uh, the reason I got Bull Demon was not so I could use it, it was so he couldn't. That's the whole point of it. Uh, he's going Spirit Robe, by the way. It's either Spirit Robe. No, that has to be Spirit Robe. I don't think that, that builds in the Magi's, does it? Does that build in the Magi's? I actually don't know. All right, I have a 500 pot. I have full build. I red buff. Let's see what happens. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he is a 500 pot too. All right. I did, I hit the double tap, even though I missed the, uh, even though I missed the two, I still hit the double tap and he does have a spirit robe. And thankiness. Okay. I'm going to all. He wants me to land on him. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. God, that did a lot. Oh, I didn't even hear it, bro. I didn't even hear him casting it. Dude, his one hit me for like... Yeah, 402. That did a lot. Um. Okay, so he's going more... Defense here. I kind of feel like I should make a change in my build instead of saving for 3k pot. I feel like I should go Titan's Bane or Serrated. Serrated is probably better. And then Pestilence. And then I guess I'll grab another 500 pot. This is definitely a better build for what he's got going on. <clears throat> Dealing with Fire Minions is going to be a pain in my ass. That is for sure. Um, he doesn't have beads. I think I need the full commit here. If he predicts, if he predicts my full commit, I lose the game. 
but I think I have to. Yep, I lost. I lost. Damn, dude. Literally game two of tilt, huh? Game two of tilt, I lose. I mean, I did say, like... I did say that Hera completely beats Thor. But, I mean, now you can see it in action. You get to actually just see it in action. Unlucky. Unlucky. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.